The crisp morning air greeted me as I set foot on the hiking trail. The sun, just beginning to peek over the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across the rugged landscape. I enjoyed the inviting nature of the wilderness. The only sounds were the gentle rustle of leaves and the distant calls of birds echoing through the canyon. As I traveled deeper into the heart of the forest, the scent of pine and earth surrounded me, the cool breeze carrying with it the promise of adventure and exploration. I felt alive invigorated by the undisturbed beauty of the wilderness that surrounded me. But as the day wore on and the sun climbed higher in the sky, a sense of unease began to gnaw at the edges of my consciousness. It was a feeling I couldn't quite shake, a nagging sense of being watched, a presence lurking just beyond the edge of my vision. I brushed it off as nothing more than my imagination running wild, the product of spending too much time alone in the wilderness. But deep down, I knew that something felt wrong, that I was not alone in these remote mountains. As the hours passed, the feeling of being watched grew stronger, the hairs on the back of my neck standing on end as I scanned the dense underbrush for any sign of movement. But try as I might, I saw nothing, just the swaying of the trees and the gentle rustle of leaves in the breeze. And then, just when I thought I couldn't bear it any longer, I heard it. A low, guttural growl echoing through the canyon, sending a shiver down my spine. I froze in place, my heart pounding in my chest as I strained to pinpoint the source of the sound. And then, like a ghost emerging from the shadows, it appeared. A mountain lion, its golden eyes fixed on me with an intensity that sent a chill down my spine. Its sleek fur rippled with power as it prowled through the underbrush, its muscles coiled like springs, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Panic surged through my veins as I realized the gravity of the situation. I was alone in the wilderness, face to face with one of nature's most powerful predators. I knew that I had to act fast to find a way to escape before it was too late. With trembling hands, I reached for the can of bear spray that I kept clipped to my belt, my fingers fumbling with the safety as I tried to ready myself for the inevitable confrontation. But even as I did, I knew that it would be no match for the sheer power and ferocity of the mountain lion that stalked me through the forest. I backed away slowly, my heart pounding in my chest as I tried to maintain eye contact with the beast to show it that I was not afraid. But deep down, I knew that my bravery was nothing more than an illusion, that in the face of such a powerful predator, there was little hope of survival. And then, just when it seemed that all hope was lost, a group of hikers emerged from the trail, their voices echoing through the canyon as they rushed to my aid. With a bravery born of desperation, they hurled rocks and sticks at the mountain lion, their shouts of defiance echoing through the wilderness as they fought to protect me from harm. Seeing it outnumbered and being battered, the mountain lion turned and fled disappearing back into the depths of the forest as quickly as it had appeared. I collapsed onto the trail, my heart pounding in my chest and my breath coming in ragged gasps as the adrenaline coursed through my veins. As the hikers helped me to my feet, their faces filled with relief and concern, I knew that I owed them my life. Together, we made our way back to the park entrance. The memory of the encounter burned into my mind like a scar, a reminder of the dangers that lurked in the wilderness and the strength that could be found in the bonds of friendship and teamwork. <laughs>